curtindo um podcast, né? Sabe o que você também vai curtir? Saber que o melhor flip de todos os tempos chegou. O novo Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, com flex cam, que tem zoom automático e faz selfies de 50 megapixels. E com bateria estendida para nunca te deixar na mão. Vá a uma loja ou saiba mais em samsung.com.br. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. Galaxy AI chegou. It's time for Thriller Thursdays, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. And now, episode 223, Hongen to Hongen. You're from Hanga, really? I mean, Hanga is a super small town. I would have known you for sure. <laughs> nice try. I think you know exactly what I mean. The food, the salt, the little saying you tricked me on. What are you doing here? Who's this guy? My driver. Don't worry. He's one of us, Sam. Now talk, or your partner might be writing up an accident report on you. What are you doing here? My job. What exactly is your job? To make sure you do yours, Bishop, just like I did for Hank. And I'm supposed to know who Hank is? He was an operative who didn't listen to me. He was careless, and as a result, the whole Houston operation collapsed, and he and his partner in Queens were captured. And I'm supposed to believe that? I have a great mind to make you disappear. I take it you have access to the Hongan Field database. As a Hongan, you know I would. Well, as a Hongan, I don't trust you either. So type in your service number. After you do that, type this service number in. I take it that this number is you? My official photo should be included. We'll see. Here. This is me. I see. Class 2 operative. Two successful missions. Hmm, not bad. Now, open mine. You better be in here or... I... I'm so sorry to have doubted you. Please forgive me. You have received the highest honors for Hong. Well, I know that. I just wanted you to know that. But what are you doing here? You know Hongans don't interfere with other Hongans. Unless... Don't worry, I'm not here to replace you. As far as I know, you're doing a great job. Then why exactly are you here? I'm doing a GSA inspection of your facilities. I actually am with the GSA. And your partner, Wayne? He's with the GSA also. But no, he's not Hongan, and he doesn't know I am. So what's your mission? You know we can't divulge that kind of information. But I'll tell you anyway. I believe my mission is the same as yours. Deep cover. You're close. I have been here for several years. And that's about all I can tell you. So you tell me what gave me away. That's the very reason I'm sitting in this car with you. It's the same reason I intervened with Hank. Well, I'm being careless? I don't eat like a Hongan at any one place. I move around to avoid suspicion. What gave me away? I wouldn't worry too much. It was things that only a Hongan would notice. Like what? The way your demeanor changes when you talk about food. The fact that you dye your hair, probably because you are a recessive blue hair. And your love of salt. But those are things that any of the locals might say or do. Put them all together and they add up to one of us. The convincing part is when you responded to a saying we use on Hanga. Yes, I responded automatically. Just so you know, that's when I realized that you were also Hanga. That was my intention. I knew that if you suspected as I did, you would approach me and here we are. And you weren't sent to spy on No, pure coincidence. I was in Houston working when I noticed Hank... He was eating huge amounts of food at one establishment, drawing too much attention to himself. I stepped in and altered his behavior, but it was too late. The IDF saw the same thing and busted him. And what brought you here? Exactly what I told you. An inspection of your historical buildings by the GSA. So, 
What happens now? You continue with your mission. We've never talked. The Hungan Tribunal doesn't need to know that we made contact. I have a lot of experience. If you need assistance, I will be at your service. And again, no one back home needs to know about it. Well, I appreciate that. And it's been an honor to meet a real Hongan hero. Yeah, don't mention it. And I mean that. Oh, I think it's about time we call it a day. These Ukrainian intercepts are are about the only ones that are of any bit of interest. I agree. Most of these are so out of date, they offer little information that we could use. They either refer to an event that has already occurred, or ones that were scrapped. Quite honestly, these remaining ones could be done by any office worker. They all have the proper clearance. I keep telling myself that maybe we'll come across something earth-shattering. Don't get your hopes up, Agent Slane. I'm glad I caught you two before you went home. Penny Packer, what brings you down here into the trenches? I don't know, Agent Simon. I've seen papers like she's holding before. As have I. They are usually followed by, pack your bags, you are going on a mission. Tony, can't I just stop by and see my favourite agent? I suppose you could, but you never have. So what's in your hand? Yeah, where are we off to? Or is it just one of us? Maybe I'm just carrying papers that have nothing to do with you two. Really? All right, you're right. I have orders for both of you. Agent Simon, I have a feeling these orders have nothing to do with MI6, or we would have received them electronically. Well, Pennypacker, is Agent Slane correct? <sighs> yes, he's correct. Both of you need to report to the transfer step at 1300 tomorrow. That would put you in Baltimore at 8 a.m. their time. Be prepared for an undetermined length of stay on Titan IV. You will transport to Saint-Martin when you will join Lenora for transport to Boldebar for further instructions. Lenora? Is that wise? I'm thinking the same thing. If she's partly responsible for Zorka's arrest, she probably has a lot of rage enemies. I'm sure you are aware of the Hongan mercenaries involved in the case that Lenora is working on. Yes, we believe it's a continuation of the Houston case. She may be in as much danger here as she would be on Titan. No one knows Lister's tendencies and habits better than Elnora. We think she'll be a valuable asset. And a big liability. Perhaps a liability best served under our protection. Perhaps. You have to understand that the majority of my dealings with her were confrontational at best. From what I understand, she's changed a lot since she started working for the IDF. What's that saying? Can a tiger change its stripes? I have a feeling it won't take us long to find out. I'll leave you to it then. See you first thing tomorrow morning. Very well. How well do you know this Lenora person? Not that well, but I am a fairly good judge of character and I think she's sincere. She was taken in by rage as a child and was raised to be loyal to them. So I think it's says a lot that she saw them for who they really are and turned on them. I hope you're right. We'll be going right into the lion's den with one of their former cubs. Rest assured, Agent Slane, if I wasn't sure about this, I wouldn't agree to take her. Well then, sir, that's good enough for me. Hey, I see everyone's off to lunch. Yeah, they should be back shortly. Have a seat. Take a load off. A load? Look, it's, it's just an expression we use. Your people have a lot of strange expressions. What's up? I just got off the phone with Pyramid. Was there a breakthrough? Does he have something new? Yeah, in a way. As you know, Lister broke out of prison. Well, I'm here, so they can't blame that on me. Look, Lenora, we're concerned about you. I'm sure he hasn't forgotten who helped put him in prison. And a lot of good that did. What does any of this have to do with me? There's a distinct possibility that the Hongans involved in our case may be called on to do harm to you. Personally, I think you're safer here with us. But headquarters has a different take on that. I don't need anyone's protection. I grew up with these people. Well, then you know better than anyone what these lowlifes are capable of. 
You were like a daughter to Lister. Now he wants you eliminated. Even so, how am I going to be safer on Titan 3 or 4 when Rage is out to get me? It doesn't make sense. Agent Simon and his new partner, Slane, will be going with you. Tony Simon? I'd rather not. Why not? Is it because he brought you and Lister in? I have my reasons. And? I'd rather not say. Tell Pearman thanks, but no thanks. I have a case to help solve here. We can carry on without you, Lenora. We need your inside knowledge of Lister to track him down. Once you arrive on Titan IV, you'll be under the protection of Jaffra and the whole Mercury crew. I suppose pleading my case to stay here with Pearman is a waste of time. Lister's a high target. There's an attempt on you here, well, that might jeopardize our case. Once word gets around that you're on Titan, they'll shift their focus to there. And then our Hoggins will resume their mission. I hate to miss out on closing this case. If by some miracle we do, we'll let you know, although it might be a couple of days after the fact. Which brings to question, why did you say rather not when we talked about Simon going? You do realize you'll be stuck with him in that deep space stiff for over a day. I know I have my reasons, Jim. I'd just rather not say. Just put it down to he was the one who put me in jail. Yeah, and he was the one to help get you out. I'm sure you'll work things out. This isn't the time to hold personal grudges. We all have a job to do. Don't worry about me. I'll do what has to be done. It might do me good to bring Lister to justice once and for all. Once and for all. That sounds a little fatalistic to me. Would that be so bad? He's a horrible man who's done horrible things, like wipe out an entire planet. My planet. Now, calm down, Lenore. I know you want revenge, but people want him to spend the rest of his life locked up. Time would be too quick and too easy. I suppose you're right. So when do I leave? You need to be here by 8 a.m. Simon and Slane are transporting at 1 p.m. their time, so once they arrive in St. Martin... You'll transport. Your planet's time zones are confusing. Latumus and Boldabar are tidal planets, so there's no sunrise or sunset. It's always the same time on the entire planet. Well, I'm happy to give that convenience up for some beautiful sunrises and sunsets. All right. If it's okay with you, I'm going to go make some preparations for the trip. Not a problem. See you tomorrow morning. Hey, where was Lenora heading off to in such a hurry? Pyramid is tasked her to join Agent Simon and another MI6 guy to go to Martin State. Then they're all headed to Boldabar for a briefing with the controller. I take it this is something to do with Lister? Uh, they all be headed to the Titan system to track him down. Well, I can see why they want Lenora to go. Nobody knows him better than her, but it seems kind of risky to me. Risky for whom? Her or Lister? I see what you mean. She probably has a score to settle with him. You two look like you're walking with a purpose. What's going on? Well, we just got a call from Garrett. Looks like Sam popped the bubble of doubt. (laughs) All right, you got some splaining to do. It seems that Sam had lunch with Bishop. Well, he may have pushed the envelope too far. Garrett said that Sam told him that he was from Honga. What? That would be Honga, Maryland. Yeah, I know right where it is. It's just south of my home. So why did he do that? To see if Bishop would flinch. He must have done something, because he later came by the BOQ and picked up Sam. I bet Sam thought he was a goner for sure. Well, what happened? Well, Sam showed him the fake Hongan service records we made for him. The guy almost dropped to his knees begging for forgiveness. Sam told him about how he had helped Hank, and Bishop was evidently impressed. That's very interesting. So now we know for sure Bishop is a Hongan, and Sam has an in with him. Yeah. But you know how tight-lipped Hongans are about their missions. It'll be a challenge to get anything out of him. Oh, where's Lenora? Ah, oh, packing. She's headed out to Martin State tomorrow to meet up with Tony Simon and another agent. They're headed to Boldabar. The controller's going to brief them on Lister. They'll be headed to the Titan system to assist in his capture. Agent Simon will be seeking a diplomatic solution to arrest Lister while some bounty hunters track him down and also two Rage members who have what's left of Wi-Fi. Lenora will provide insight. All I can say is better her than me.
the sleep cycle has concluded. All personnel report to the bridge. All personnel report to the bridge. Good morning, Georgia. Captain Nate, there is no sunrise in this sector of space. Figure of speech. Add that to your vocabulary of colloquial sayings. It's just a friendly greeting after a standard sleep cycle that ends at 0700 standard. I have added it. Good morning, Captain Nate. I trust you slept well. Like a baby. I'm sorry, Captain. You were up several times crying. I'll explain and add that one later. What's our position? We are approaching the Titan IV space zone. We will soon need to call for clearance. G'day, Captain. G'day, Georgia. Another colloquial for good morning. For some reason, it's a general greeting for any time, but mostly reserved for day. Teaching Georgia some of the mysteries of the English language? She has English down, just not all the idioms and such. No wackers, Georgia. One day we can have a good chin wag when you're not flat chat. Disregard that, Georgia. I don't even understand what he said. Who's having a chin wag here? Georgia and I. I'm teaching her some proper Aussie. I'm not sure you want to do that, Liam. I like her just as she is. If you do, most of us may not understand her. Good day, Jaffa. Nate, have you been experimenting with George's speech parameters? Captain Nate has not made any adjustments. I am learning your speech patterns to better serve you. You're doing just fine, Georgia. No need to change anything. What have I missed? I was just teaching Georgia some proper Aussie slang. Now, why would you go and do something like that? Exactly. I can hardly understand you three as it is. I'll second that. Everyone's accounted for now. The bridge is yours. Uh, thank you, Captain Nate. Uh, Liam, what's our approach status? We have been cleared for approach into Titan City. We have a few minutes before re-entry. Very well. Gabby, the controller said that he secured a bat on Titan 3. It's at the same airfield you stole the fighter from, next to Charlie 3 Paparoska. Oh, I remember it well. I just hope they don't remember me. I've been assured that everything has been cleared up. You shouldn't have any problems. So where is it you want me to take these two? Land at the abandoned mining airstrip. We'll have someone there to secure the ship. Are you familiar with that place, Gabby? Oh, yeah. It makes Cali look like the Sydney Opera House. I suppose you want us to canvas the town before we go to the mercenary camp? That would be best. Hey, hold on a second. Isn't that place where you have to go up Death River to get to? Yeah, but don't worry. Gabby went swimming in that river. At night. Yeah, but we're not crazy. Don't worry. If you go up that river, it won't be under the cover of darkness like we did before. They'll know we're coming. You'll be able to use a boat with no problem from the river monsters. Like Joffre said, the IDF will get word to the camp that you're coming. Do they know why? Yeah, I'd hate to show up there totally unexpected. Two minutes until orbital insertion burn. Thank you, Georgia. So, suppose we get to this mercenary camp and we locate Lister. What do we do then? Detain him. I believe the camp commander is tired of rage and its influence on their planet, but he's not our only target. He's a secondary target, as I see it. My number one target is Hanukkah and his guard. We just got lucky that Lister escaped and is headed in the same direction. There's been so much talk about Lister, I almost forgot about Hanukkah. Don't worry, he's still at the top of our list. We need to capture him, his guard, and Wi-Fi circuit board. If you count the six inmates who escaped with Lister, plus our other two, we've got a boatload of criminals to catch. We might need help. I'm sure we can handle it. I suggest everybody get strapped in. Be entering the atmosphere very shortly. And I suggest you stop wagging your chin. I will take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Georgia. This is a very nice park to be in the middle of an army post. Just remember that this is a very old post. That's why there's historic buildings and areas here. It's a perfect cover for us to come and inspect. Okay, but what are we inspecting at 7 o'clock in the morning? Officially, the grounds and some of the permanent fixtures. In reality, nothing at all. Then I should have brought a picnic basket. I have to tell you, I was rather shocked when you told me that Bishop more or less threatened. I wasn't worried. 
He changed his tune when he saw my personnel file. Your people really did a great job of making a hero out of me. It's paid off twice now. So you played that card with Hank, too? Like a Vegas blackjack dealer. Wait a minute. How do you know about those? Research. We Hongans do extensive research before going to any planet for a job. Extensive, you say? Right. I saw those pictures from St. Louis. You look like a 1940s monster from Chicago. Yeah, sometimes we get bad intel. But I thought the outfits were pretty cool. So did Bishop give you any indication at all about what happens next? Do you think he'll confide in you? If he follows the Hongan playbook, no. But then Hank reached out to me for help, so there's always a chance. You need to get really close to him if there's any chance of us finding out who or what his target is. I can get close to him with a little time. Well, a little time is all we need. <whistles> Garrett. This is Lenora. I'm at Martin State with two IDF agents. We're headed to Boldabar. Do you have anything on Bishop? Just that he confronted Sam about being a Hongan. Sam seems to have appeased him somewhat with his impressive Hongan credentials. I would be interested to know if Bishop lets it slip about any new mission. I'll put you on speaker. Sam is right here with me. Okay, go ahead. Sam, I'd be very interested to know if Bishop picks up another mission, namely me. I can understand that. He hasn't given me any indication that there's any kind of new mission. We've had very little conversation since we both revealed ourselves as Hongans, but I guarantee you, you will know as soon as anything develops. Well, being on Titan means not hearing anything for at least two days after something develops. Well, look at it this way. If he does pick up a new mission, and that mission is to terminate you, you'll be in a different solar system. That's true. Simon wants to say something. Sam, it's very important that you gain Bishop's confidence. Have you determined if he has an assistant? It's my understanding that you Hollands work in pairs. Yes, when he picked me up, he had a driver. We openly discussed being Hongans right in front of this guy. I didn't get any info on him, though. I certainly hope you'll be able to find out what he's up to. I'll do my best. And I hope you can capture Lister. Again. Lock him up for good, along with those other two I heard about. The ones who have Wi-Fi circuit board. Yes. I'm going to try and talk some sense into Drachma. I heard about that guy. I don't think he can be trusted. You heard right. Pearman is trying to move us along. Good luck with your mission. Same to you. If anyone can get through to this Drakmar character, it would be Tony Simon. He's quite an impressive agent. And Lenora can handle herself really well. I don't think those fugitives have a chance against them. Well, I wish him best of luck, but I think we need to turn our attention to the task at hand. Breakfast? Don't worry, Sam. You'll get your second feeding soon enough. We need to at least make an effort to inspect this area. Do you have the check sheet? Yeah, right here. I guess we can start at the top of page two. All right. Now what? Garrett? Yeah, this is Bond. You guys are going to need to step things up. Why? What's going on now? Orders just came down for Korski. He'll be reporting there sometime this afternoon. Will Sam be able to determine Korsky's true mission? Will the Mercury crew be able to find their three targets? And will Simon be able to negotiate with Drakmar? Find out in the next episode of the Hawk Chronicles, Operation Trident.